It's the first bear house opening in mm. Okay then. Another day. Yep, another day of, well, I guess nice. Because hopefully... Guys, why are people always knock, knocking on our door? All right. Look at it. Any time that happens, it means horrible stuff is about to happen. So, yeah. So this is. I don't think this is gonna be a lot lucky either. Definitely don't let them in, Chica. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. Oh. Um. <clears throat> sorry, but we don't. We don't want any visitors. You know, we kind of have. Chica, shut up. Spring Bonnie, is that you? Actually, it's Golden Bonnie now. But, uh, it's been a while, Fred Bear. How are you doing? Well, it's actually Golden Freddy now, but, um, yeah, I've been doing great. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, hey, uh, Golden Bonnie, you remember Chica, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's great because I have no idea who you are. Ow! Wait! Uh, ow! Golden it's, Bonnie! It's. What? Well, oh, you used to be Spring Bonnie. But it's you! We should, we should have to let you in. We should go and show you everyone else. I wonder if I can remember you at first. Guys! Um. What do you want? Is there someone at the door or something? Yeah, and you will probably know who he is, or you might not, because I didn't recognise him at first. But it's Golden Bonnie or Spring Bonnie, as we used to know him. Uh, who? Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my goodness! Golden Bonnie! I guess that's your name now. Uh, Hi, who Foxy. Is, who is this Golden Bonnie? Uh, have I heard of him? Wait, wait, wait a sec. I do. I do remember you. Nice to see you again, Freddy. Hi! So... Okay, yeah. Hi! So, 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 Golden Bonnie, where have you been all these years? I feel, I feel like I haven't seen you since like the nineties. <coughs> like, like, what happened? <laughs> Tell me the truth, Golden Freddy. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> there seems to be this blank, like fogginess, absence of memory between the last time I saw you compared to now. It's, it's like my memory was influenced by someone. And Gone Freddy, I think we both know who. Yeah. What? Um, who what? would this be exactly? Is it like the octopus or Dreadbear or someone like that? Because they have been kind of trying to take over the world and they have been hurting us. Oh, uh, please. Of... Octopus and Mr. Octopus and Dreadbear, they're just his minions. Wait, wait, did you say he's been attacking you? Uh, well, yeah, they, uh, a couple of weeks ago, or months, I don't really know how long ago it was, they kicked us out from our homes and left us in the forest. Luckily, we got it back. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news. I've come too late. Oh, uh, what do you mean? It means he's already attacking you. What? Who's attacking us? I have a cupcake! I have a cupcake bomb! It's okay because I doubt he's here right now. But if the octopus and Dreadbear have already attacked you before, then that means that he's already started his invasion. That puts fear on my soul, you know. When was his first? When was any of them in you? When was any of his minions' first interactions with you? 
Who are his minions? Like, what? I don't know who they are. Well, our first encounter was with Mr. Octopus, and it was a couple months back now. Oh, yeah. Uh, he oh. tried to, you know, enact out his job. I see. Um, alright, so we... He, I, I think I've got, I've, I think I understand one thing. The, the thing he tried to do was act like he was normal, trying to disguise as an animatronic, and then attack us if we let him. So, yeah, we he attacked us in disguise. So, I don't know. Um, maybe that will happen with the other other minions or whatever. There's a few stages to his plan. Oh. First, he sends in Mr. Octopus. Wait a to... second, wait. Before you say anything, how do you know all of this information? We'll get... I uh, will get to all that like, after it. Alright, then. Yes. The first phase of his plan is he sends in Mr. Octopus. His job is to enter... And try and take over from the inside out. Then he sends in these really stupid people. I think they go by the fakes or something like that. And then, if that doesn't work, then he sends in Dreadbear to try and kidnap someone to make them weaker. And then he sends in the fakes again. Hey, I got kidnapped by Dreadbear. Oh dear. It's gone further than I thought. What What do you mean? Well, after he sends in Dreadbear and the fakes, he disguises himself as a friend and gets in himself. Once that's been done, there's no escape. Oh, Ugh. so is one of is one of the people here him? Unfortunately, there's no way to know. Well, there probably is, but you'd have to have an extreme detective's eye for that. Oh, anyway, um, so I ju I just wanted to say, um. Maybe since, okay, I don't know about Mangle and stuff, but since she got repaired before, I don't think she has the technology, unfortunately, but I think that the new ones here, me, Bonnie, Foxy, Chica, Cupcake, and yeah, Foxy, Golden Freddy, um, we have this new um, thing, we are like a new technology. Maybe we have something that can help us find who he is. I doubt it. Yeah, we because, the because uh, the mechanic, he said that he basically gave you the exact same tech as me. And if I didn't have that ability, then none of us do. Well, anyway, um, he he looked extremely weird. Let's not even talk about that right now. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, Foxy? Wouldn't you know if he was impersonating someone? Because, like, in case they're acting different. That's the thing. You know? All of his minions, while they are weak in comparison, they all have powers which make them extremely difficult to beat when they work together. All of them have abilities related to memories. Mr. Octopus, he has the power to take away memories. While the fakes, well, the fakes don't really have any abilities. They're, they're, they're kind of useless. Their only real power is, you know, working together and stuff. And but that's, you know, not a great power. And uh, finally, Dreadbear has the power to 
alter or create new memories, which is how he manages to slip in unnoticed. And he has all the powers of them all. Oh wait, so if, if I can ask a question, this question's been on my mind for like the whole time, but you keep on saying he. Who is he? Exactly. You don't know who he is. Yeah. Well, I I can't say, unfortunately enough. What about you, Gone Freddy? You seem to remember. I can't say either. Oh, uh, why exactly? What? I believe there's a curse. And every single person who has stopped working with him, a curse is put on them that they cannot utter his name ever. They can't. They can't say his name or they will die. And if they can't point out who it is, or they will die. And that's the curse that befell me and Golden Bonnie. Wait, so... I don't want you guys to die, so just don't mention it. So it will be horrible if you two died. I mean, you are my brother. Well, yeah. Wait, so hold on. You said that that's given to anyone who stops working with him, right? I think I know what you're about to say, Mangle. If you guys had the curse, then does that mean that you two used to work for him? Yes. Me and Golden Bonnie used to work for him. And it was awful. It was not a good place to be. Yes. It was an awful place to be. You were constantly mistreated and you were never treated by an equal, by anyone, especially not from him. I don't know who this he guy is, but I really don't like him. No one can treat any of our friends like this. Apart from the one time that you treat us like that. Well, I mean, yeah, but I'm not like that anymore. I, I had some faulty wiring in my head. I don't know why that happened at all. Actually, actually there's a reason for that. Yeah... Me and Golden Bonnie were fired because, you know, uh, in top secret missions that Golden Bonnie was involved in, he would tell me and I would tell you, Freddy. So that's when he put a curse, he put an extra curse on me that I always have to follow everything that you say or else, you know, I'll die. That's not right. That is just not. And to make that worse, he put a curse on you. But you would slowly start becoming more and more evil until it got to the point where you would start working with him. Okay, I'm never ever doing that. Thankfully, ever. it never got to that stage. That's why you had faulty wiring in your head. Thanks for that. We have to find out who this guy is and we have to get to him. We have to beat him. We don't we don't know if he's even in our in here in this exact room right now. Hey guys. Hi. Did you just hear everything we just said? I mean, I do have giant ears, but I didn't hear much cuz I was like flapping and stuff. Oh, well, actually that's kind of a lie. Yeah, I heard literally everything you said. Um, well, just promise to not tell anyone, please. Uh, I'm, uh, I definitely won't, except for maybe Toy Chica, if she ever asks. Just literally, just literally get off. Get your mind off of her. She's never, always say, saying, no, nothing's going to go well for you. I'm sorry, my ill friend, but... She'll be mine eventually. She loves me. She just doesn't know it. 
Yeah, um, I, I'm not, I, I'm not sure if you'll, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's really true right now, but can you please get out? We're having some, a very secret conversation. Exactly. Can you kind of just don't, please? That's fine, I already know everything that's going on anyway. Get out. Don't you go. Oh, he's just so weird. I can't believe he heard everything we say. Where even were we? Um, with the... So, you, you, the last time you spoke was why, um, with my curse and how yeah. never got to that point, how I started working for whoever he is. I'm happy that I didn't get to that point and that I actually did that war because then I would have worked with that guy and I would have had killed all of you and that would not have been good. Yeah, so I, I guess in some ways having that civil war was a good thing. Yeah. Okay, I've clearly missed out on a lot that I need to be filled in on. How long ago did Dreadbear kidnap you, Mangle? Mm. It's definitely been a few months by now. And that means that, unfortunately, he's already come in. What does that mean? Well, I hate to spread distrust, but someone who isn't in this room, apart from, like, Big Freddy, any one of them could be him. Oh, he's here. Mm -hmm. In these very walls. I'm so sorry to be the one to have to tell you this. Why didn't you tell us earlier, Golden Freddy? Oh, honestly, seeing Golden Bonnie again sort of unlocked my memories. Unlocked memories. Hey, that sounds familiar. Wait, really? How? Pretty much that exact thing happened to Phantom Mangle when she saw Phantom Foxy. Oh. Could you get them both in here? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Phantom Mangle, Phantom Foxy, get in here right now. Uh, yeah, Mangle. Yeah, Mangle. So this is Gone and Bonnie. Say hi. Well, um, allegedly Gone and Freddy had a very similar experience to, to you. Where he saw Golden Bonnie here and all of his memories came flooding back. Oh. Cool. Uh, oh, oh, what do you want me to do with this information exactly? Honestly, I'm not sure. So... Do you remember anything about your past or anything like that? Except from Phantom Mangle and Springtrap and stuff. Well, for me it's very hazy. I hardly remember anything. The last thing I remember is being all happy with the rest of the phantoms. Then after that, the next thing I remember is me waking up alone in the wreckage of Fast Best Fright. And then a few months later, Fan and Foxy found me. Yeah, I my experience is similar. The last thing I the first thing I remember is being happy with the phantoms and then just this massive hazy gap and then springtrap found me a few months later oh. wait springtrap springtrap could also be involved in this because he was also a part of us phantoms talking about me yeah how did you know that well i mean i don't know what's all literal his memory I was I was happy with the phantoms, then the big gap, and I woke up somewhere in the forest. I I ran into Phantom. I ran into Phantom Foxy. We met each other and stuff. So and then he came and met you guys. Soon later on, uh, we found Phantom Mangle and stuff. God, this is deeper than I thought. 
what's happened to so many of you? Alright, are you done with me? Uh, sure, but you can stay here if you want. Ah. That was rude. Wait! Oh, hold on, I remember something! So, I explicitly remember, like, when Nyla Bonnie and Nyla Foxy and Toy Chick and Toy Bonnie and all that, when they came, Nyla Bonnie was saying something about how it would be nice to see Nyla Freddy again. So, could that, like, be to do with anything? Maybe. That could be a good point. Cool, uh, nightmares! Nightmares, we literally need you. Come in here right now. 20 minutes later. We remember be happy with everyone we used to know. There's a random gap and then we woke up somewhere random. Is that true for you guys? Uh, I am Yeah, lesbian. pretty much. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, pr that's pretty much what happened, actually. Yes, but I am just really scared from this. I don't know what is happening. Um, yeah, it that is what happened. How do you know? Well, the same thing has happened to me and Gone Bonnie and Springtrap, Fan of Foxy and Phantom Mangle. Surely, with the common theme, there's no way that after it, after it happening to three different groups of people here, there's no way that it can be a coincidence. Hey guys, um, I, I was just wondering, ha have any of you guys seen Toy Chicken Cat? Oh no, here's a helicopter. Get I out of so here, Toy Bonnie. I am so scared. Toy Bonnie Cat. It's imperative that you tell me where Toy Chicken is. Yeah, I saw her. Do you know where she was? Where? Shut your mouth. That's it, where she was. That is Eventually. What are you guys talking about? Toy Bonnie, you literally came in here like five minutes ago. This doesn't involve you. Yes, it does. I thought How? you heard everything. How does it involve? Well, that's pretty much all we've got. So many loose ends. What do we do with this information? Well, if you would li like to join our team, maybe we could do this another day because it's getting pretty late right now. Yeah. So, would you like to join? I mean, we can all vote, maybe. Well, I'd love to join. Thanks. So now that we have all this information, what do we do exactly? We wait until he slips up. It'll happen eventually. After all, there's still one more phase that he, he was considering adding to the plan. Oh my god, it's the credits. It's the end of the episode now. And here's all the credits and stuff. Now you can go watch something else or watch this again or whatever you want to. Well, the trend seems to continue. Golden Bonnie is definitely right. I'm here. And I'm one of you. And you don't have to wait much longer to see my plan spiral into action.